Spreaker.com. There it is, Spreaker. You guys are on the air today, Monday the 20th, a little bit earlier than 3.30. I said, well, let's go ahead and do some preaching today, friends. Let's go ahead and get on there live and uh, and get going. So here we are. Glad to see you. Monday the 20th, Pastor Rick here, uh, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast uh, Network, right? Uh, Restream TV Podcast Network. Or Ministry Podcast Network. There it is. Uh, we got Blog Talk Radio. We got Spreaker, Anchor Cast Box. Who else? We got Twitch TV, Twitter, Periscope, Daily Motion, and uh, LinkedIn going live for a Monday, my friends. Good to see you. Got a lot to cover. Uh, again, fly updates. I got bombarded. We had the, uh, apparently there's holes in the screen door, so, uh, I got bombarded with flies, so hopefully it won't be too much of a bother here, uh, but, uh, you know, I never know how it goes, so bear with me on that, uh, you know, amen. Let's go ahead and make sure our volume level is down, uh, for that, uh, channel two here, um, all right all right boy that was a quick 20 minute update there 15 minutes up update anyway uh i had a phone call come in right at two o'clock in the after right right as i was getting ready to go on literally uh a call came in the studio and i had to take it uh as kind of one of them important messages that i could not uh you know not take so that pushed it back. You know, I don't want to rush the conversations, but uh, had to uh, make sure we we got it. So, anyway, I am glad to see you guys. I do appreciate you so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> just waffled down some dinner or lunch here real fast. I wanted to make sure I got something to eat before uh, I went on broadcast here. Lots going on this afternoon for Monday. Uh, as you guys uh, got that message yesterday, um, let's see what's up with that. Uh, I was gonna go on at three thirty, three between three three thirty, and I was like, ah, no, I got all my chores done, I got everything taken care of, so uh, let's go ahead and broadcast now. Well, you know, set it up for two o'clock, uh, but uh, you know, that's always good. So, amen. Try to get on as you know as much time as I possibly can. So. All right, see if I can adjust the volume. And there goes my bookmarks all over the floor. Hang on. Boy, every time I do that, it just does that. So, anyway, let me, <laughs> let me, let me. Oh, what is going on? Amen. Slow, uh, slow relay. I don't know what's going on. Channel 2 is messing up again, friends. Uh, so, bear with me on that. Um having some technical problems there it wants to um, do something it's not supposed to so all right real slow delayed like real delayed response here um amen friends so give me a minute uh so bear with me on that um, there it is all right so we do have volume on our channels Oh, mercy, friends. Let's get into it. Got a lot for you, as I always like to cover and, and give you some Bible scriptures. Uh, friends, we're going to get to your Bible. So grab your Bibles, that pen, paper, notebook, tablet, highlighters for your highlighters, and, of course, that fresh cup of coffee. All right, Amen. Double checking on stuff here. I think we're good to go, brothers and sisters. We're having church. It is Monday, already Monday, friends. Uh, good to see you. Lots to cover, uh, as I always like to do here. Amen. Grab your coffees, and uh, let's get into the Word of God, my friends. Got to keep going. Got to keep pushing through, uh, no matter what. Um, <laughs> as the as the enemy, uh, you know, he's on his post. He keeps digging into us. It's, ah, yeah, he, uh, forget it, right? We're going to stick to our plan, which is God's plan. 
Uh, amen. And, uh, you know, we we got to keep digging in, pressing in, my friends. All right. Let's get going. Friends, uh, church is on. Well, after 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here at Studio A, Pastor Rick here hanging out. I uh, wanted to get on a little bit earlier at 3.30. Got a few things to take care of still, but, you know, not a whole lot, but just uh, taking care of some little things here and still updating the schedule, uh, as you guys uh, heard yesterday. Um, <laughs> I'm still working on it. Amen. Let's get to it, friends. Heavenly Father, you know I come before you again. I'm always humbled and appreciative of these opportunities I get just to hang out, just to be in your word, uh, and to uh, share this good news gospel. Just to, you know, just to get into this word, uh, Father God, and be in your presence. It is amazing, and I always thank you for this calling, uh, this mission that you have, uh, you know, put me on, this path that you've directed my life to. I give it to you. I can't uh, thank you enough uh, for calling me into this mission, uh, mission field here and directing again directing my past uh, good or bad you know i try and and keep uh keep at it so father god thank you for that uh give it all to you for your glory honor and your praise i lift uh the family friends uh lift them up to you give them to you uh whatever situations they're dealing with protect them watch over them guide them give them that encouragement that strength and that hope uh that they search you know, that longing in their hearts that you guide them and keep uh, watching over them as your angels around them. And again, Father God, I, I call on your angels uh, to in your protection and uh, over the Wi-Fi here of the studio, watch and protect as you always do. And uh, thank you for the increase. Um, thank you for the encouragement. Uh, when the numbers are low, you keep you just keep pushing me through, Father God. And it's okay. You said... Um, you know, don't wor- don't worry about that. Uh, just keep doing what I've called you to do. So, I'm on that path. I'm on that directive, and uh, keep pushing forward and keep moving forward. So, thank you so much, uh, Father God, and I give this all to you right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, I am here. Good to see you. Always good to hang out with you for a little bit of time here. Anyway. So, uh, back on Monday, now, I, what I'm going to be doing, friends, kind of rotating podcast messages and updates on our Anchor, or not Anchor, well, Anchor CastBox, of course, but uh, our Spreaker channel. So, I'll be doing some audio updates and, you know, the Power Hour podcast, uh, I'm going to bring that back, uh, so try to do that every day, if I can here, we'll see how the scheduling goes, but... Uh, I'll give you a few scriptures, a few, you know, like I always do here, some some Bible reading, some studying. So, uh, yeah, so stick around, stay tuned for that. That's going to be at Blog Talk Radio and Spreaker. Uh, probably Anchor Cast Box here. We'll figure that all out as we go. But it's, uh, it's exciting. I'm going to bring that back, that Power Hour Plus audio broadcast, friends. So you've got to stick around, stay tuned for that. That's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. All right. Well, let's see what we got on the uh, Facebook page uh, here, France, as I already posted this out. Um, you know, I kind of threw this out there already. So let's get to a few friends. Um, amen, friends, as I uh, try to do a <laughs> multitask here. Let's see if we can't get that out to uh, a few of our Facebook groups and friends. Well, I got the groups, but... Let's uh, let's see if we can't uh, do that here real quick. Get uh, get some of our brothers and sisters out there. Uh, amen. All right. And there you go. Just a few. Not not a whole lot. Uh, some of them just don't want to hear uh, that word. So we're gonna let that one go and uh, just kind of keep moving here. All right, so there you go. Um, (laughs) Awesome. All right, well, there you go. Let's get back on our Twitch TV channel uh, for that update there. Not the update, but uh, uh, to watch the uh, messages. And hold all your thoughts, you guys. Come on now, you know better than that. Uh, Amen. You know, you are in church, so 
Um, all right, so there you go. I'm taken care of. Business is done. Let's get to some preaching, church. It is, again, Monday afternoon here, first service, um, live on a restream uh, TV ministry podcast network with uh, YouTube, of course, Spreaker, Twitch, all that. Uh, good channels, great channels. So, listen, we're going to open up, uh, church. We're going to go right straight into our uh, studies, into our Bible, uh, friends, before I uh, get into the other ones. I got, like I said, a whole lot for you to cover today. Uh, I'm going to get into Psalm chapter 117 and 118. Um, out of the Torah. We're going to get into some Torah reading. So let's do that right now. Praise his holy name, friends. Amen. All right. Oh, praise Yahuwah. All ye nations, praise him. All ye people, for his merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of Yahuwah endures forever. Hallelujah. Amen. All right, let's bring that mic up just a tad bit. Got got kind of a got away from me here. Uh, amen. Let's go to chapter 18 in the book of Psalms, the Tehillim of Psalms, of course. Uh, all right, let's go. And again, we're in the Torah, brothers and sisters. Good to see you. Again, good to see you guys. I always appreciate you so much. Let's get into our studies today, friends, as we open up in the book of Psalms. We just did 117. We're going to go to 118, my friends, and to make sure we got our coffee set. And like I said, at the beginning, top of the hour here, I am bombarded with flies. uh, And (laughs) they are being pests uh, again. Um, I don't know. Crazy flies. I don't know. Let's let's keep going here. We're just getting into it. So let's get started. Uh, Okay. So 118 in the book of Psalms. Now, I'll give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, because his mercy endures forever. And let Israel now say, for his mercy endures forever. And let the house of Aaron now say, that his mercy endures forever. And let them that fear Yahuwah say, that his mercy endures forever. I call upon Yah. In distress, Yah answered me and set me in a large place. Yahuwah is on my side. Amen. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Yahuwah takes part with them that help me. And therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in Yahuwah. Than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in Yahuwah than to put confidence in princes. All nations compass me about, but in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about. But in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. And they are quenched as fire of thorns. For in the name of Yahuwah, I will destroy them. And you have thrust sore of me, uh, or at me, that I might fail. But Yahuwah, help me. Yah is my strength. And song and is become my salvation, or Yahusha. The voice of rejoicing and Yahusha is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of, uh, where are we at? <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the right hand of Yahuwah is exalted, friends. Uh, the right hand of Yahuwah does valiantly. I shall not die but live and declare the works of Yah. Yah has cleansed me sore, but he has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise Yah. All right. Uh, I will praise Yah. Let's go to 20. Now, this gate of Yahuwah, into which the righteous shall enter, I praise you, for you have heard me and are become my Yahshua, 
The stone which the builders refused to become the headstone of the corner, this is Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes, and this is the day which Yahuwah has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech you, O Yahuwah, O Yahuwah, I beseech you. Send now prosperity, blessed he, or blessed be he that comes in the name of Yahuwah. We have blessed you out of the house of Yahuwah. El is Yahuwah, which has showed us light, but, or uh, bind the sacrifice and the feast day of, with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. And you are my El, I will praise you. You are my Elohim. I will exalt you. Oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Come on, my friends, rejoice in his holy name. Uh, amen. All right. <laughs> kind of switch Bibles here. And, of course, I'm going to be fighting with my uh, clips, or not my clips, what are the, the bookmarks there, uh, all over the map here, gonna have to, like I said, I'm gonna have to duct tape them, uh, let's see, there's that fly again, let's go ahead and go, uh, like I said, I'm gonna kind of keep it, uh, well, not kind of, uh, I am going to stay in the Bible for just a minute here, I want to go, friends, if you will, let's go over to uh, Hebrews chapter 12. Now, I was doing this, uh, the other podcast, uh, Sunday, right? Uh, <laughs> one of the podcasts there, uh, we were talking about examples of faith in the Bible, and that keeps coming back to me. Um, and I know it's the Holy Spirit just reminding me that that's what I need to keep bringing back up. So, uh, as I see, uh, a lot of friends and family just losing faith. Uh, friends, and, and you got to keep on it, you know, uh, the devil's relentless, friends, and, and we got to have faith, we got to keep that faith, like I said, I, I talk to neighbors and friends and uh, a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm seeing the, you know, they're losing faith, they're, they're, it's like it's slipping uh, in their faith, and so we got to continue to dig in, is that, you know, is that fly, geez, uh, <laughs> man, uh, holy Moses, uh, <laughs> I'm getting bothered by a fly, I told you they're like crazy flies, they just bombard them, I had one stuck right in my eye, just fly right in between my glasses there, and it, it, you know, I had to shut the podcast off early, because it just was too, uh, too much, and there they are again, so, again, I'm gonna try to keep going, but, uh, I am getting pastored by, uh, some crazy flies. But anyway, so what I was talking about is the faith. So we're going to go back and look again at uh, examples of faith in the Bible. And as I was saying, I uh, talked to family and friends, and they're, they're losing faith. They're like, it's just dropping, you know, day by day. And I'm like, no, come on. Uh, you really need to just keep pressing in, you know, uh, you're going to get your blessings. You just got to hold on and dig in, not give up. Uh, you know, not dig away or not not walk away from the promise. Uh, and I have to remind myself every day, too. You know, I have to dig in myself because it, it's, you all know, you don't know what's going on. Uh, so don't give in to the enemy, friends. Uh, dig in your word. So let's look at, again, some examples uh, as we look to Jesus as the finisher and the author, amen? Chapter 12 in the book of Hebrews, friends, we're going to switch gears, go on over to the Orthodox Study Bible here for Hebrews chapter 12. Now, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us... Lay aside every weight and the sin which is uh, which so easily ensnares us. So I, see what I was talking about here, friends. Um, every weight and the sin 
which so easily ensnares us. And let us run, brothers and sisters, with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Church, come on now. Who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And missed him. By that much, again, I told you it's it's a it's a fly day. I don't know what it is, but uh, well, we've had you know, like I said, I had the screen door open and they, a couple of holes in it, and I guess they got in that way. And <sighs> man, all right, we're gonna try to endure through the fly uh, deal here, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna keep pressing in. So <laughs> let's let's do that, uh, friends, right now. As I am in Hebrews chapter 12. Do not despise God's chastening. Or I keep having that trouble with that. Ch- chastening. It's chastisement. So it would be chastening. There you go. Just like school. You got to sound it out. All right. For consider him who endured such hostility from sinners against himself. Lest you become weary and discouraged. In your souls, you have not yet resisted to bloodshed, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which uh, speaks to you as to sons. My son, do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by him. For whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges every son whom he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is there whom a father does not chasten? But if you are without chastening, of which all have become partakers, then you are legitimate and not sons. Furthermore, we have had human fathers who corrected us. And we paid them respect. Shall we not much more readily be the subjection to the Father of spirits and live? For they indeed, for a few days chasten us, uh, seemed hest or best to them. But he, for a prophet, that we may be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening seems to be joyful for the present, but painful. Nevertheless, afterward it yields the peaceful or peaceable fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained in it or by it. And therefore strengthen the hands which hang down and uh, the feeble knees and make straight paths for your feet so that what is lame may not be dislocated but rather be healed. Pursue peace with all people and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. And looking carefully, lest anyone fall short of the grace of God. All right. Lest any root of bitterness springing up cause trouble, and by this many become defiled. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person like Esau, for one more or who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. But you know that afterward, when he wanted to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no place for repentance, and though he sought it diligently with tears. All right, now the heavenly Jerusalem. For you have not come to the mountain that may be touched and that burn with fire and to blackness and darkness and tempests and the sound of a trumpet and the voice of words so that those who heard it begged that the word should not uh, be spoken of them any more, For they could not endure what was commanded and if so much as a beast touches the mountain it shall be stoned or shot with an arrow. 
And so terrifying was the sight that Moses said, I am exceedingly afraid and trembling. Again, we're in Hebrews 12. All right. But you have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn who are registered in heaven. To God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, to the blood of sprinkling that speaks after things than that of Abel. Now see that you do not refuse him who speaks. Um, Yes, Mr. Fly, I told you, bombarded again. All right, Uh, him who spoke on earth, much more shall we not escape if we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice then shook the earth, but now he has promised, saying, yet once more I shake only the earth, but also heaven. Now, again, what are the flies? I I don't know what to do, friends. Um, This is really annoying. And apparently our fly strips aren't working. So you guys are going to get uh, the Fly and Bible Study podcast today. Again, <laughs> happened before. So thought I got rid of them. But then, uh, like I said, uh, had the, had the um, screen doors open with the holes in them. That's all it took. So I got them buzzing. Uh, again, they're bothering me here. Well, let's see if we can't read a little bit more here. Um, I don't know what that is, but um, that's annoying. All right. Now, see that you do not refuse him who speak, for if they do not escape, he refused him who spoke on earth. Much more shall we not escape. Uh, If we turn away from him who speaks from heaven, whose voice that then shook the earth, But now he was promised saying, or he has promised saying, yet once more I shake not only the earth, but uh, also heaven. I now, or know this, yet once more indicates the removal of those things that are being shaken. As of things that are made, that the things which cannot be shaken may remain. Now, the purity of, of uh, Christian community. All right. Now, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace. Uh, man. All right. Double check it on my monitors here. Just a minute, my friends. I'm trying to get through this as best I can here. Uh, this always happens. You know, I try to do the best I can here, and um, <sighs> praise God. Just all I can say is praise God, right? Through all of it. Through all of it. Give it over to Him. All right, let's continue. Now, let's, again, let's kind of go back again. I'll have to go uh, over to 25. Let, let's just backtrack. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're, I know where we're at. We're, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, the purity of Christian community. Now, therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us have grace by which we may serve God acceptably with reverence and godly fear. For our God is a consuming fire, friends. Amen. There's your homework. Uh, Chapter 13 in the book of homework. Uh, The book of Hebrews, not the book of homework, friends. There you go. All right. Um, I'm going to try to bear with uh, bear through this as much as I can. Um, all right. And, of course, my lid pops off. Ah, uh, mercy. Uh, <laughs> man. All right. So, uh, I just lost the lid of my pin again. Somewhere on the ground. Uh, All right. Well, we're going to continue. Flies or not, uh, get away from me, you know, buzzards. Get away from me, buzzards. Told you. 
I, <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I got a few before I started. I made sure the room was cleaned out, and apparently they were sleeping, waiting, waiting for me to go on. I tell you. <sighs> wow. Uh, you little pest. Missed him again by that much. See, and and once you're live, you can't do anything, friends. You're really uh, like subject to whatever happens. And, and you guys know that when you go live, you know, I mean, you can spend hours editing out little spots, but it, you know, I can't. I don't edit too much, you know. Um, so you just <laughs> you just gotta go live. Well, you know, you just gotta roll with it. Um. So I, I, you know, that's why I have my, my, literally have my, my coffee covered up, uh, because I'm going to get my coffee. Amen. All right. You pesky varmints. (laughs) Get out, get out of the studio. I've had enough. Come on now. That's too much. Uh, (laughs) I don't know. Friends, like I said, I just got to try to keep going and, and keep doing what I can. But I have like crazy flies that won't. They're, they're just right here. I mean, I'm telling you, they're all up in my face and uh, all up in my like my space here. Uh, and they're just relentless. It's just constant every second. They're just right there. And I don't know whether just to shut the podcast down. Um, and, you know, hopefully... You know, try to get some of them. Um, and I hate to end it early. I don't want to end the podcast early. But uh, you guys don't want to see a whole bunch of, you know, me swatting flies for the whole podcast like I did before. I had to actually shut down early, 35 minutes into it. Uh, and it was too much. Uh, I'm not kidding. It was just overbearing. Too much, inter- you know, with them. And that's not what I... I uh, want to do. I, I don't want to shut the podcast down, you know, what, uh, half an hour into the broadcast. It, it just give you a few scriptures and go, and that's, I don't want to do that. So uh, bear with me, my friends. Thank you guys again for your patience, uh, for understanding here, and uh, your support, of course. I do appreciate that. Um, <laughs> all right. It's the Fly Podcast, uh, friends. Is what it is. That's what uh, what's doing here. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> oh mercy, friends. Let's see what we got going on over at uh, Rizzle. Uh, just did an update there. We've got uh, 56, 47 followers there. All new friends there, of course. And 205,000 views as of today, friends. So uh, 5,847 followers, subscribers at Rizzle.com. And we've got uh, 205,000 plus views. That is amazing. But not surprising, like I said, it is not surprising when God moves and the Spirit moves, friends. It's just you got to give it over to Him and keep turning it over to Him and pressing in no matter what, not not giving up. All right. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Let's keep going. Uh, I want to get into the podcast scripture notes here, friends. Let's go ahead and do that. Take a break from uh, the other one because I, actually I'm going to go into Zechariah, uh, I believe. Um, what do we got? Whew. Oh boy, those flies are are relentless. Like I said, they're crazy. They don't want to leave me alone. They're just w- right in the corner uh, again, friends. So, man, oh man, let's uh, <laughs> let's pray that I can get through this broadcast here. Uh, friends, with the interference of the flies, because uh, I mean, like I said, had one go right in my glasses, right on air, and I, I all I could do is go like that and try to get it out of there, uh, you know. And I couldn't edit it; it just, it was just a little clip, and I'd be editing the whole thing, uh, you know, that little thirty-five minute or what it was, you know, I would have been editing that whole 
that whole thing out and you would have got 10 minutes of broadcasting without the actual flies of the interference. So uh, let's see if we can't get a few more scriptures in here, friends. Anyway, let's keep trying here, friends. All right. Now, God, let's go to our serenity prayer course right in the podcast notes here, friends. I want to go ahead and do that. Now, God, uh, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change. Right? Flies. All right, now. the uh, Let's see. The courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time. All right. Uh, enjoying one moment at a time and accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. Taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it. Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. And that fly is going to get smashed, right? With a blessing, of course. (laughs) Man, right on my arm. Well, leave me alone. Uh, Trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. And I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. Amen. Man. <laughs> uh, it's a fly swatter podcast, friends. Me and my me and my pet flies hanging out, right? Uh really? Uh, where's my lizard? I'm gonna have to get an iguana or something, right? Or whatever Whatever bird or animal eats flies, I have to bring something in here. Uh, more fly strips. <laughs> right. All right. Come on now. Really? All right. So it looks like our monitors are doing good. Uh, it is holding up. So let's uh, try to continue again, friends. Sorry about all this interruption of the flies. I thought I had the studio cleared out, but apparently not. Right. All right, the Lord's a prayer, friends. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us, uh, our, uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, church, you know what's coming up next. You know, I always like to go here. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right. We're going to put some armor on because I need it. I need it. I need some armor on today, too. Amen, friends. All right. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Let's go ahead and do that right now, friends. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, and against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. First Peter 5, 5, friends, for your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Don't want you to get God, friends. I tell you every podcast, I don't want you to get God. I want you to be saved here, friends. Amen. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God, our Bible, our living water, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints, and for me that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that that therein I may speak boldly, as I ought to speak. Amen. All right. Good stuff. Always like to load you up with uh, some scriptures and stuff. You know, like I said, I got to take this a day at a time. Try to get on here full time, but, uh, you know, like I said, like I always tell you, 
it's a balancing act. I try to balance uh, the renovations, the the work, the, the studies, and uh, you know, it's a lot. But you know, like I said, I'm always grateful, uh, and I am grateful to be called on this mission. Uh, so, you know, I'm just persistent, right? Persistence and uh, steadfastness and, and dedi- you know, loyalty, dedication. Uh, amen. Um, amen. And like I said, I always appreciate you guys. I always thank you guys for your, uh, your support there. All right. So there you go. Brought to you by our friends over at Eastside Pond, Miss Debbie and her son. If you happen to get a chance to get on the other side of the mountain, uh, over in East Wenatchee, Washington State, go ahead and check that out. Uh, Miss Debbie and her son, of course, supporting that local channel. All right. (laughs) Double checking. Uh, my connector, for some reason, my charger um, is not connected in here. All right, there it is. I uh, almost lost the power over here for some reason. There it is. All right, so we're going to move on over to Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Pastor Rick here, hanging out with the flies, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Pacific Standard Time here, Studio A, live on our uh, restream TV ministry podcast network. We got YouTube, we got Twitch TV, Twitter, Blog Talk, Radio Spreaker, and so much more on the air. Uh, broadcasting the good news gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Church, come on in. Uh, we got the coffee and we, we got our pet flies hanging out today. Uh, <laughs> man, where's my pet iguana? I need something to get them critters out of here. I don't know. Uh, (laughs) I need my spray bottle. That's what I need. Should have brought that in with me. I got it sitting on the other side of the uh, desk here, but didn't get a chance to bring that in. That would have helped. Note to self, bring water. Bring a fly fly water bottle or something. Anyway, that's going to work. I'm going to bring that in. (laughs) I'm going to bring it in. All right, brothers and sisters, let's get some church on. Let us get our praise and worship on today, my friends. Uh, Amen. All right, so I think all our everything's looking good, right? Hopefully. Uh, (laughs) Really? Wow. Well, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Let's get into our sinner's prayer uh, today, friends. Now I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. Amen. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died for me on the cross. He did, friends. He he took our sins for us. Now I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, friends, right now, church, go ahead and say this with me. I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Uh, To live in my heart from this day forward, thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name we pray, church, right now. Right now. Give it over to him. Amen. All right. There you go. Get a hold of me. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at Yahoo.com. Uh, <laughs> man. Uh, get a hold of me. <laughs> we'll chat, friends. Amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast over at yahoo.com. Amen. Well, I'm going to try to compose myself because, like I said, I, I don't know whether to shut it down or try to keep going here. We're just at about our first hour. Uh, so this probably maybe will go an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes or so, maybe two hours. But, again, I'll see how bad the flies uh You know, the fly situation keeps going. Ugh, what a pain. What a pain. All right, like I said, I got to hide my coffee to make sure the flies aren't, you know, using it as as a jacuzzi or something. 
Amen. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, sometimes, friends, sometimes, you know, uh, and I, I believe this uh, with the flies and all that, I believe it's uh, like kind of like the wilderness test. God just says, okay, you said you're going to do my will and uh, you're going to serve me. And I'm going to throw all kinds of stuff at you and test you on your, uh, your faithfulness. <sighs> okay, God, you got me right where you want me and I'm not giving up. All right, so I do want to cover... Before I get into the next one, uh, I do want to cover um, Zechariah. I haven't been in there for a minute, but I did want to go uh, go in here. Uh, Zechariah chapter 1, friends. So let's see if we can't, you know, fight through the flies here. Um, <laughs> I got to get my screen door to the studio put up. That's what I'm going to do too is get that screen door locked in there. Um, I know that will help as well. So that will make a, a big a big improvement. So let's keep going. Zechariah chapter 1, brothers and sisters. Good to see you for Monday, September 21st, our first service here. We'll see how the rest of the day goes and see what happens. All right. It'll probably be around 9 uh, tonight, if I do go back on live over at YouTube, it'll probably be about 9, 9 30, well, maybe 9.30. I think closer to 9.30 sounds good. So uh, let's keep reading. Uh, friends, and I appreciate you guys so much. Good to see you. Good to be back. Like I said, I'm, I'm going to start doing some audio podcasts over at our Spreaker channel just to power our updates, uh, friends, Monday through Sunday. So uh, I just did a brief one yesterday for Sunday. And uh, I'll get in there and... Uh, share some scriptures with you you know the the usual one you do but it's just going to be the power hour plus podcast so i'm going to try to see how that goes in between everything else uh, let's uh let's switch it up a bit friends right amen all right let's keep going zechariah 8 or <laughs> zechariah 1 now in the eighth month in the second year of darius uh came the word of the lord Unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edo, the prophet, saying, The Lord has uh, been sore displeased with your fathers, and therefore say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. All right, be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways and from your evil doings. But they did not hear nor hearken unto me, saith the Lord. Your fathers, where are they? And the prophets, do they live forever? Right? All right, but my words and my statutes, which I command my servants to prophets, did not take hold of your fathers. And they returned and said, like as the Lord of hosts thought to do unto us according to our ways and according to our doings, so hath he dwell or dealt with us. Upon the four and twentieth day of the eleventh month, which is in or is the month Sabbat, and the second year of Darius came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edel, the prophet, saying, I saw by night, and behold, the man riding upon a red horse. Again, over in Revelations, talks about the, the horseman there. So the red horse, and he stood among them, uh, the myrtle trees, and they were in the bottom, and behind him were the red horses, speckled and white. Then I said, O oh my Lord, what are these? And the angel that talked with me said unto me, I will shew thee what thee be. And the man that stood among the myrtle trees uh, answered and said, There are they whom the Lord has sent 
Uh, man, oh man, I tell you, flies, phew, man. All right, let's try to keep going here. These are they whom the Lord has sent to walk to and fro through the earth. And they answered uh, the angel of the Lord that stood uh, among the myrtle trees and said, We have walked to and fro the earth, and behold, all the world, or (laughs) all the earth, sitteth still and is at rest. Now let me get caught up real quick here. Uh, Friends, not going to, again, not going to spend a whole lot of time in here, or minutes, right? Uh, Try to get uh, as much as I can. All right. All right here. All right. So we're in Zechariah chapter one. We're talking about Berechiah, uh, the son, and uh, well, this is an interesting. Uh, the canonical order, right? All right, let's see if we can't get through here again. Um, amen. All right. All right, bear with me, my friends. Just got a couple, uh, a couple left to do here. I just kind of want to, all right, there it is. Good enough. Just, uh, like I said, not going to spend a whole lot of time uh, trying to fix this up. We'll do that afterwards. Um, Amen. Well, it's got to be Monday, right? (laughs) It's got to be a Monday. Amen. Well, I hope you guys are doing well today. I really do. Uh, You know, I I pray for you and uh, just stay, stay, you know, persistent um, keep the faith, right, uh, and keep digging and keep pressing and don't give up, friends. Uh, God's got a plan, like I always tell you. God's got a great and glorious plan for each and every one of us, and we got to hold on and stay steadfast, right? All right, let's continue with Zechariah uh, chapter 1. We're just going to read the first part here. Um, all right. Now then said the angel of the Lord, answered and said, O Lord of hosts, how long wilt thou not have mercy on Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, against which thou hast they uh, or had in nation these threescore and ten years? And the Lord answered the angel that talked with me with good words and comfortable words. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, Cry thou, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy, Uh, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. Right? Now, we can see the parallels with this, um, the connection here. All right, so again, let's go back to 15 here. For we know our God is a jealous God, friends. So watch here in 15, Zechariah 15, chapter 1. And I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased. And they helped uh, forward the affliction. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I am returned to Jerusalem with mercies. My house shall be built in it, saith the Lord of hosts. And a line shall be stretched forth upon Jerusalem. Right? All right. Now, cry yet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, My cities through prosperity shall yet be spread abroad. And the Lord shall yet comfort Zion, and yet uh, shall yet choose Jerusalem. Then I lifted up mine eyes and saw, and beheld four horns. And I said unto the angel that talked with me, What 
BVs, he says, right? What BVs, right? Now, and I said unto the angel that talked with me, what BVs, again in verse 19. And he answered me, these are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. And the Lord shewed me four carpenters. Then said I, what come these to do? All right, he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head, but these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah to scatter it. Well, there you go, friends. Chapter 1, the book of Zechariah, uh, for your homework, right? Uh, awesome. All right. Go on over our list as I got my scriptures uh, kind of worked out last night. Well, still working on them. You know, that never that never stops, uh, friends. It's, it's always, uh, you know, praying, discernment, uh, asking for discernment, you know, and uh, scriptures to go ahead and share out and read. As I'm pulling up some old notes and old scriptures from uh, my past podcast there, uh, I always uh, always like to uh, share the scriptures, of course. That's what we do here. Uh, amen. So let's go back into our, our NLT Bible here, friends. Now, I got this coming out pretty soon here. I know I keep saying that, but uh, uh, I'm waiting on some finances to come through this, uh, come in. Uh, which is uh, pretty close. Uh, we're we're getting uh, should have some. So be patient. Hold on. Don't uh, don't worry. We'll I'll get you some out. So uh, amen. All right. So again, be patient. It's coming. Um. <laughs> all right. So let's go back to the clipboard here one more time. Uh, amen. And again, if you guys would like to contribute to the podcast uh, channel here, uh, PayPal link is up on YouTube. You guys can go ahead and do that. It's a worldwide live ministry podcast at paypal.com. Go ahead and uh, hit that button if you'd like. I appreciate that in advance. Any amount, monthly subscribers or monthly uh, donations and, and assistance here would be great. Thank you guys again. Always, uh, always appreciate that if you'd like to help out the ministry. And our uh, the Patreon channels up. You guys can get in on there uh, on a monthly sponsorship as as little as a dollar a month. So uh, whatever's on your heart, uh, friends, if you'd like to go ahead and help that uh, or help the channel here, I would appreciate it. You guys, think, you know, I'm, I'm I'm doing doing what I can, doing what I'm called to do. So uh, I appreciate that in advance. So. All right, so let's go ahead and read, uh, friends. We've got the NLT. We're going to go ahead and go into study the Bible. Uh, I do want to check that out again. So, um, <laughs> amen. All right. Shoe fly, don't bother me. I got some preaching to do. There it is, Anchor Cast Box. See ya again. Uh, <laughs> there it is. And that was quick. Our hour. Friends, our hour. Can you believe that already? Um, let's go ahead and see if I can't uh, get this information out here. Get that out, and then I'll go ahead and keep moving on. All right. Um, 2 p.m. here. All right. Bear with me. Um, let's see. Go ahead and pop that in there. Get that information out. Um, let's see if I can't. <laughs> I can't do this here. Uh, man, oh man, oh man. All right. Da -da -da. What is it? The 20th already. Can you believe that, friends? How fast this month is going? Wow. Um, pretty soon. Pretty soon. I ain't gonna think about it. <laughs> Try not to think about it anyway. Um, let's see. 
a little tough to do here, but uh, bear with me, friends. We are we closed out our Anchor Cast Box channel, so bear with me. We're gonna keep kind of rolling with it here. Uh, amen. All right, make sure the uh, mic is all cute, still queued up here. Um, amen. <laughs> Man. All right. All right. There it is on the description. <laughs> All right. All right. Bear with me, my brothers and sisters. We're going to get going. We're going to keep rolling right here. Flies and all, right? Um, <laughs> amen. All right. Oops, I want to go. I want to go right here where I can. Um. <laughs> all right. All right, there it is. Bear with me, you guys. Bear with me. Hold on here. Just about done. Almost. All right. All right. Anchor cast box. They are clear. And we're on. We're still on. Flies and all, right? All right. So. Got that. Bear with me. All right, so it is processing uh, the broadcast, uh, which I'll have to go back in and, and reset anyway. I'll have to go back in there and readjust that. That's okay. We'll get a little bit in there later on. Uh, amen. All right, sponsors are good. Good to go. Uh, amen, you're live on the air. Uh, <laughs> like I said, uh, praying for each and every one of you. Uh, of course, um, um, all right. So, yeah, you're live. Restream TV Ministry Podcast, Monday afternoon at 20th. Already September. Can you believe that, friends? Uh, Pastor Rick here, hanging out, Studio A, broadcasting the Word of God, my precious family, my precious brothers and sisters. Um, amen, right? Continuing on, pushing through, uh, conquering, <laughs> you know, conquering the devils, uh, broadcasting the word of God, friends. So, uh, bear with me. So, yeah, well, hey, we're live. We got, we got all kinds of channels going up, uh, running right now. Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, Twitch TV, uh, Twitter, Periscope, Daily Motion, LinkedIn, uh, right there at YouTube, of course, our, our, the, the mothership of the channels here. We started out on YouTube a long time ago, nine years ago now, um, nine or ten. And uh, I kind of found out the Restream TV Ministry Podcast Network. That's awesome. So always good to be on there. That's all, on all the channels. You guys are so just so much a blessing. Uh, and, of course, you know I got Rizzle. Uh, Tin Can, Instagram, IGTV, and of course, back over at TikTok. I know I'm not a lot of preaching on that uh, channel, but there are a few, and you know we're we're pushing and pushing through and persevering. Uh, so check that out. Covered, we're covered on all the uh, channels there. So, um, all right. Well, let me get a, a message out to my sister there uh, in Christ, and uh, do that real quick here. Um, um, let's see. All right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, ba 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 Boom. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. Had to get a quick message out to my friends. Uh, make sure everybody's uh, doing well. So, 
praying, like I said, my prayer request lines are always open, always on. You guys can uh, feel free to leave a message, uh, prayer request. You know, we got voice messaging at our anchor channel. Uh, you guys can um, go ahead and leave a message there. Um, amen. All right. So let me kind of pull this one up here. Amen. All right. So it is, it looks good. It looks, everything looks good there. All right. Uh, let's go back to our Twitch channel here. I want to make sure we're there. Um, volume wise and, you know, I always check that out. So, um, All right, so it looks like it's doing good. Sounds good, at least, you know. Um, amen. All right, so I'm going to switch monitors again. I kind of do that back and forth here. So bear with me on this one, friends. Just give me a minute here. Uh, I want to go to... Um, amen. I'm going to go ahead and pop on over to our um, our Twitter channel. Amen. All right, my phone is dragging... <laughs> <laughs> it is. It literally uh, drags. I mean, for some reason. All right. It literally drags. There's just like a lag in the in the service there for some reason. You'd think, with all that money we've been paying on these things, you'd think that it'd be better, but obviously not. So. All right, uh, let's see why that is getting stalled here again. You'd think with all the money we pay, uh, friends, that it would be better service, but again, not. It just isn't <laughs> I'm delayed. Can't, can't do anything about it. All right. Well... I might have to go over to 5G here again on our, on our, well, the, the, the iPad here. I don't have to switch over. All right. Well, let's uh, keep going. Let's keep, keep running here, friends. Uh, just a little over an hour uh, again through trials and tribulations, flies and problems. We're going to persevere and keep running. Uh, here, friends, keep in, getting into the Word. All right, so I want to look at study the Bible. Now, you might say that the Bible is the user manuals or user's manual of life. We've all been searching for everything we need to know uh, or see. So it says, now it might be the user's manual of life or is the user's manual of life. We've all been searching for it. Now, everything we know or need to know uh, about God and living a life that pleases Him is found in its pages. Now, tragically, some of us go through life without so much as picking up this amazing book whose words were inspired by God. And yet, success or failure in the Christian life is determined by how much of the Bible we get into our hearts and minds and how obedient we are to the principles and teachings found within it. Now, just as we need to continually breathe oxygen uh, to survive, we need to regularly study the Bible to grow and flourish spiritually. Now, here's an important reason why we need to spend time in this life-changing book, friends. Uh, and this is going to be one through four, not much. Just a, a little bit of uh, information here for you. Uh, again, study the Bible. Now, studying the Bible is necessary for our spiritual growth. Uh, the Bible performs three functions to help us maturely, uh, or mature spiritually. 2 Timothy 3, 16, 17, my family, right there. Amen. Let me, let me fix this. 
Um, this is going to bug me if I don't. Hopefully I don't make it worse. Uh, and I actually can get in here and fix this and readjust this. Um, I think I... I should invest in whiteout like a like the company or something, right? Uh, I'm using a lot of it lately. All right, let's see if we can't uh, readjust this. Amen, friends. All right, so we're taking a look at again as I was reading this, uh, friends, and it's not too much here. We we're reading study the Bible. So the first scripture. Uh, that we looked at was uh, 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17. Two, studying the Bible keeps us spiritually strong, friends. Now, the more we get into this book and apply its teachings, the more we are, or we will <laughs> be able to stand our ground in the storms and trials of life. Matthew 7.24 27 for that one. Number three, studying the Bible makes us <clears throat> scripture or makes scripture a central part of our lives. God desires that we make the Bible an integral part of our lives as we look at Colossians 3.16. Four, studying the Bible helps us apply its truth to our lives. Uh, well, we will notice positive changes in our lives as we apply what we read in scriptures. That's going to be again over in uh, 2 Timothy 3.16 and 17 for that one. There you go. Not much, uh, but um, some information for us, right? Study the Bible. All right. Got to make sure I got on in there and checked that out. All right, well, we got a few more. Uh, friends, we got a few more scriptures here for you. All right, uh, we'll go to 190 is on that page. But um, but um, bum, bum, bum. there's our puppies next door uh, to the studio. We got a kind of surrounded by the puppies on both sides, uh, which is all right. Hey, you know, keep us busy. All right, so we're going to go to the next one here, friends. Uh, overlooking petty differences or petty issues frees us to experience joy, brothers and sisters. Let's go ahead and check that out. Amen. Uh, and the scripture we're going to look at is uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 10, 17. Let's see if I can get, find that right away here, friends. All right. Um, let's see if I can get to that. Uh, actually, put that in there so all my notes there, so I know where I'm at. All right, overlooking petty issues frees us to experience joy, friends. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, now, in Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, here, friends. The uh, or he addressed several problems the church of Corinth was experiencing. One of the church's problems was that the believers were dividing, uh, or let's see, dividing the church by aligning themselves under the teachings of one apostle or another. We see that a lot, right? Uh, division there. Uh, now, rather than focusing on the joy of their salvation, Paul, therefore, rebuked the Corinthians for dividing the church over such a petty issue, reminding them that uh, it is Christ they follow and serve, not Apollos, Peter, or Paul, or Paul or Peter, as it says. Now, like the Corinthians, we can stop, or we can get bogged down in issues that not only divide the church, but really don't matter, right? Again, we see this all the time, uh, and we, you know, we 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 get into that and we get caught up in that. So, it's Christ we need to be focused on, friends. Right? Amen. All right. So again, like the Corinthians, we can get bogged down in issues. 
that not only divide the church but really don't matter. So when we immerse ourselves in petty issues, we rob ourselves of experiencing the joy that Christ has given us. Advocating these issues can become more important to us than salvation itself. Now it is then that we can become obsessed with others' adherence uh, to the point to our point of view rather than their faith in Christ. However, friends, however, ignoring, right, as it says, um, let's see where they go here. Got sidetracked. All right. Uh, Give me a minute here, friends. Let me get caught up and see where we're at. All right, there it is. So ignoring petty issues is liberating. Uh, It frees us to focus on our own salvation and experience the joy of Christ's forgiveness. So how do we do this, you ask yourselves, friends? Well, here's four ways to overlook petty issues and experiencing uh, or experience joy in Christ. All right. So it's one through four. Write that down. Get a chance here. Write that down. We're going to look at it, friends. One, be single-minded in purpose. The purpose of our life is to serve Christ. Philippians 1.21 for that one. Number two, adopt God's priorities as our own. Uh, (laughs) Put God first, others second, and yourselves third. Philippians 2, 5, and 6. All right, three, keep moving forward spiritually. As I've always said here on the podcast, friends, keep moving forward. Put Christ first, follow him, uh, and he will provide, friends. Amen. Keep moving forward spiritually. Acknowledge that you haven't arrived spiritually and keep pressing on. Uh, to know God more, Philippians 3, 13, 14. So there you go, friends. All right. Four, have a rejoicing mind. Don't rejoice in circumstance or circumstances. It's plural there. But rejoice in God and his faithfulness, Philippians 4, 4, 5. Failure to maintain the joy of the Lord as our personal lives leads to spiritual breakdown. Oh, I gotta I gotta go over that again, friends. Failure to maintain the joy of the Lord in our personal uh, lives leads to spiritual breakdown. All right. Failure to keep the joy of the Lord in our churches cripples the cause of Christ. Let us or let his joy overflow from your life. There it is. Fresh out of the word, my friends. There you go. Um, Okay. There you go. All right. Let's get to uh, the scripture that goes with this again. Overlooking petty <clears throat> differences frees us to experience true joy. And that, of course, is in, um, let's see, <laughs> let me get this up here. All right, hold your spot, my friends. All right, so 1 Corinthians 4, right? We want to go to 4. Um, we want to find that page, right? Um, all right. Going to run all the way back here. I know that's in the back here, uh, friends. So bear with me. <laughs> all right. First Corinthians, where we want to go. We want to go to First Corinthians. So bear with me on this. Um, there it is. There it is. All right.
And of course, I was off track there. We want 1701. Let me get in here and fix this. Ah, mercy. I don't know what I was thinking again. Uh, amen. All right. So we are in 1 Corinthians, and we're going to look at 4, uh, friends, chapter 4. All right. All right. All right. All right. My friends, give me a minute. Let me correct this again. Uh, you know, copying down notes and stuff, and sometimes I happen to throw a, uh, the wrong scripture in there, so I want to correct that. Um, amen. Chapter 4 in the book of 1 Corinthians, my friends. All right, what do we got? Okay, there it is. All right, 1703. <laughs> All right. There it is. All right. Well, we're going to keep moving here, friends. Um, I guess the fly. Well, the flies are still here. I'm still getting buzzed, but, uh, you know, maybe they're taking a powder or something, getting some coffee. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right, my friends. Um, what's that? Um, <laughs> I don't know what's up with that channel. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Let me see if I can't switch over here. Um, go over to our Twitter channel. I got to switch back over here. Strange stuff going on on, on our uh, whatever it was on our uh, Twitch channel. It just popped up and said, I got banned on my own channel. How is that possible? Come on now, guys. You need to fix that. Uh, man. All right. I don't get it. Maybe I paused too long. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Chapter 4, 1 Corinthians, right? Uh, what do we got? Uh, we got time? Oh, yeah, we're... <laughs> we got time, my friends. Let's keep going here. All right, 1 Corinthians chapter 4, right? Now, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Christ... Uh, moreover, as a required or is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you um, or of man's judgment. And yea, judge not mine own self. All right. Yet am I not hereby justified, but he that judgeth me is the Lord. Right. Back to our Twitch channel. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Chat lines are open, but I'm not taking any kind of chat uh, or, or chat. Right. All right. So let me pop this up here real quick. And let me just get this message out. I don't know what that was. That just really strange, uh, friends. It just popped up on there, and it said I was banned on my own channel. I'm like, you can't do that. That's my channel. Well, God's channel. I'm just a voice here. All right, let's continue. We are in 1 Corinthians 4. Uh, amen. All right. So, again, let us go back over to 4 here, friends. I want to pop back in there and, and do that. Now, uh, let a man so account on us, or of us, as of the ministers of Christ, and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. All right, church? But with me it is a very small thing that I should be judged of you, or of man's judgment. Yea, I judge not mine own self, for I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified? 
but he that judgeth me is the Lord. All right. Therefore judge nothing before the time unto the Lord come, who both will bring to light the hidden things of darkness and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts. And then shall every man have praise of God. And these things, he, uh, brethren, I have in a, um, in a figure transferred to myself and to Apollos for your sakes. Amen. So we've got about 15, 16 minutes here, 15 and a half uh, minutes on the clock, friends. I'll probably just cut it short a little bit. Uh, you know, I always give you way over two hours on the broadcast. And, uh, well, we're going to see how it goes. i got a few more uh, scriptures for you. So we're going to go ahead and keep rolling here. So that, uh, and again, we're in 1 Corinthians 4, friends. Uh, I definitely want to go ahead and get this one out for you. Uh, that ye might learn in us not to think of men above that which is written, that no one of you be puffed up for one against another, for who maketh thee to differ from another? And what hast thou that thou didst not receive? Now if thou did, didst, or, uh, didst receive it, there it is, what dost thou glory? All right. As if thou hadst not received it, friends. Right? All right. Now ye are full. Now ye are, are rich. Ye have reigned as kings without us. And I would to God ye did reign that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last, as if we were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, church, and to angels and to men, and we are fools for Christ's sake. Friends, there it is. Uh, but ye are wise in Christ, we are weak. But ye are strong, ye are honorable. Uh, but we are despised, friends. There it is. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place. All right, and labor working or working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we suffer it. Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the off scourging of all things unto this day. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. For though ye have 10,000 instructors in Christ, and yet uh, have ye not many fathers, for in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. And wherefore I beseech you, but ye follow or followers of me. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways, which be in Christ. As I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I would not come to you, but I will come to you shortly if the Lord will and will know not the speech of them which are puffed up, but the power. Uh, for the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power, church. But what will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod or in love and in the spirit of of meekness. There you go, my friends. Good scripture there. Uh, and you guys can go ahead and read on through um, the rest. Chapter 5, right? Amen. Good stuff. All right. Where is my notebook, church? All right. Ten minutes. Uh, we'll, we'll count down here. Uh, well, we'll go a little bit longer. I don't have much more. I think one, two, three, about five more 
uh, scriptures here. So let's go ahead, check it out, snoop around here, right, as we're having some church today on Monday, the 20th here. Good to see you guys. Pastor Rick hanging out, Studio A, Restream TV, Ministry Podcast Network. We got Twitch TV, YouTube, and a whole lot more. Uh, Amen. Staying in the Word of God, keeping uh, centered uh, as Jesus is our center, right? Amen. All right. Take that deep breath, friends. We're in the afternoon, early afternoon, almost 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and you guys are live on the radio. Amen. All right. Um, ba 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 da ba 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 da ba. What's in the word today, my brothers and sisters? That's what I want to know. All right, there it is. So yeah, we're gonna check this out. Philippians, one of my favorites, uh, friends. Philippians chapter four. I think we're gonna look at that. Amen. Amen. All right. Are you ready, my friends? Keep going. What? Keep going. What? Amen. All right. <laughs> Amen. Ah, uh, it's awesome, friends. Good to bring content to you. Uh, somebody talked about that before. Uh, somebody asked me that the other day. What do you do? I'm a full-time content creator of the Word of God, friends. God gives me the inspiration, and uh, I just keep creating the content. Well, God created it. I'm just a vassal, right? Amen. All right. Hope it helps. I really do. You know, try to do uh, what I can here. Um, amen. All right. Chapter 4 in the book. Philippians, friends. So, when you get it, give me an amen, church. Amen. Right? Come on now. All right. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, long for my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Iodias and beseech Sintashe that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help these women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, church, I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Now, finally, brethren, ah, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, and whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. And if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. All right. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me have flourished again, wherein ye were uh, also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am, therefore, friends, church right here, to be content. Amen. All right. I know both how to be abased and I know how to be or to abound. Everywhere and in all things I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and suffer need. And I can do all things, brothers and sisters, through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Amen. He is our source. Notwithstanding ye have well done that ye did communicate with my affliction, Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, again, it talks about tithings here, 
uh, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica ye sent once and again into my necessity, and not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Amen. All right, let's get to the next page here. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus. Got to sound that out the slow, the slow way there. <laughs> the things which were uh, sent from you in order of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God, church, we got to say it loud. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren which are with me greet you. All the saints salute you chiefly. They that are of Caesar uh, or Caesar's household, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Church, we've got to give a, a big praise to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Good stuff there. Good stuff <laughs> for sure. All right, I think we got uh, what one or two here. Uh, but up and up and um. Oh, man, mercy, we're going to get into Revelation. Like I said, this may be another two hours. I don't know, friends. We'll just keep reading and see what happens here, right? Uh, amen. All right. Don't rip out my pages. <laughs> ah, mercy. All right. So we just finished up with Philippians chapter 4. Let's go ahead. Uh, we'll see maybe just seven and eight friends. You guys can, uh, you know, just check it out and, and go ahead and read the rest of revelations. If you get a chance. All right. Uh, so yeah, seven and eight. I think we'll take a look at that. My friend, I think that'll be okay here. Um, let me go ahead and go back. But, um, bump, 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 1895. Um, <laughs> trying to get caught up on these notes as I go, uh, friends, as I see them. Uh, it's a little tough sometimes, but I'm all right. Amen. All right. All right, so, yeah, um, we're hanging out here, friends. It is Monday the 20th, first service. I'll see how things go. Uh, today, I got a few little things to do, not a whole lot. Still finishing out the podcast uh, sermons, the messages, uh, the uh, the scriptures that I want to go and take a look at. So, um, amen. So, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how it goes at our first service for Monday, the 20th of September already. Just a tad, almost close to 4 o'clock here again. A tad bit close a skosh, maybe? <laughs> right? Ah, uh, come on, friends. All right. Rejoice in the Lord. All right. So let's go to the back of the Bible. We're going to take a look at Revelation uh, 7 and 8, friends. And uh, like I said, this may be two hours because I got three more scriptures for you. And I do want to cover them on this uh, Monday afternoon podcast here, friends. So. Bear with me, Pastor Rick, hanging out, preaching the good news gospel, sharing the word of God, friends. Amen. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at seven. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look at seven here uh, as I uh, fix my notes here. All right. Chapter seven and eight in the book of Revelations here, friends. Now, Block Talk Radio is closing out, but it keeps rolling while I record. So I do want to finish out. I got, like I said, three more uh, chapters for you, and I do want to get them to you uh, on today's broadcast. So um, 
grab your waters, your fresh cup of coffee, friends, and uh, let's just rejoice in the word, right? And read. we'll read this together. Chapter 7 and 8 here in the book of Revelation. Um, all right, we got to backtrack here, friends. Just a minute. Back to 6, chapter 17 in the book of Revelations, as I was just looking at. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? All right, so chapter 7, amen. And after these things, I saw four angels standing in the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Amen. All right, that got pulled out there. All right. Amen. Now, in verse 2, 7 here, chapter 7. Now, I saw another angel ascending uh, from the east, having the seed of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea. Amen, friends. Hold on here. What is going on? All right, not to hurt the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed uh, the servants of our great, or of our God, in their foreheads. Mark of the beast we're talking about here. All right, and I heard the number of them which were sealed, and they were sealed on 140 and 40,000, or 444,000. Right, and of all the tribes and the children of Israel, of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000, of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000, and of the tribe of Gad, 12,000. Uh, Aser, or Azer, were sealed 12,000, the Nephtalim also, and of the tribe of Manassas is, uh, were sealed, again, by the uh, 12,000. The tribes, now this is a, a, a the description of the tribes here. So you got Aser, uh, Nephtalim, uh, Manassas, Simeon, Levi, Ishakar, Zabulon, Joseph, uh, Benjamin, and uh, what else? That, they were all sealed with 12,000, right? Joseph, of course, and Benjamin, of course. Now after that I beheld in lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. And I cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our God which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped God. Saying, Amen, blessings and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. All right. (laughs) Let me fix this here again. All right. All right, all right. I know it keeps you amused, doesn't it? I <laughs> just looking at my, you know, trying to get my notes together here and I like I'll tell you, I I don't mind doing it. It just it, it's a little time consuming, but I don't get a chance to to really fix them until I actually go into the podcast itself um because I have the different bibles, the different versions. Um, amen. So we were uh, continuing here um, in the book of Revelation chapter 7. So let's go back, I believe, um, to 10. And I cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and upon or unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders and the four beasts and fell before the throne uh, on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, right? Amen. 
blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Church, amen. Hallelujah, right? And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, uh, how knowest? And he said to me, These are they which came out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb, or in the blood of the Lamb. And therefore are they before the throne of God, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, and they shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sunlight be on them, nor uh, any of the heat, or any heat. Uh, for the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them, right? And shall lead them unto living fountains of water, and God shall wipe away all tears. One of my favorite parts in there. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Amen. All right, now let's go to eight here, friends, in the uh, continuing in the book of Revelation. So, like I said, I got a few more, like three more, uh, three more chapters for today, and I'll go ahead. And then we'll go ahead and close out with that. But I do want to uh, go ahead and, and finish this out. So, let's go to Revelation chapter eight here, my friends. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of a half an hour. And I saw the seven angels which stood before God, and to them was given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out, uh, out of the angel's hands, or hand. And the angels took the censer and filled it with the fire of the altar. All right, and cast it into the earth, and there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes and seven angels, which had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. And the first angel... Now, we're going to talk about the angels here in, in chapter 8. Uh, now, the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast upon the earth. And the third part of the trees were burnt up, and all green grass was burnt up. And the second angel sounded... And it was a great mountain burning with fire was or with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there felt or fell a great star from heaven burning as if it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the foundation or the fountains of water here, friends. Again, uh, <laughs> what is going on? My my Twitch TV channel froze up here, friends. I, it's not good. All right. I'll have to straighten that out. Um. All right, so, yeah, anyway, it's froze up. <laughs> it froze uh, right in the middle of it. All right. Brother Gary's on there. Thank you. All right. Um, amen. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Let's go over to our Twitter channel. Amen. Yeah, I think my stand's breaking loose or something. I'm going to have to see if I can't fix that up here. 
Amen. Looks good. I think we're okay here. Uh, let's go ahead and jump on our... Oops. Go ahead and go up to our YouTube channel. Amen. So we're reading Revelation 8, friends. We're going to continue. we got three more chapters for you, three more books for you. All right. So again, we're talking about the third angels, or the seven angels here. All right. Oh, man. Come on. <laughs> love. You got to love the electronics, right? Seriously. Um, amen. All right. So, let's continue here. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became one wormwood, and many men died in the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So as the third part of them were darkened, or was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Whoa, 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 he says, to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels, which are yet to sound. And we're going to get into chapter 9 on the next broadcast, friends. Oh, mercy, come on now. Oh, amen. All right. So there you go. 7 and 8. All right, so straighten out my note. <sighs> really, flies? Come on now. <laughs> it just landed right on my right on my forehead here. And, and we had so much good peace here, friends. We were just so much right there. Um, <sighs> man, we were right there, friends. We were just right there. Um, amen. All right, so I'm gonna fix this real quick here uh can you believe that brothers and sisters we were right there at the end i just got a, a few more scriptures for you uh and i think i'm gonna have to uh just give you one more and close it out call it a day i don't know i'm not yet done but uh like i said i'm i'm not gonna keep battling these flights it's uh, it was peaceful there for a minute uh <laughs> i'm like come on we're right there Seriously. Uh, <laughs> so, all right. Um, amen. So, all right. Man, oh man. Flies go away. I don't want to see you today. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, man. That's why, you know, I just keep, you, I, I don't know what to do. Just, you laugh or cry or, or quit. You know, I'm not, I'm not quitting. I'm not letting no pesky little flies buzz around my spot today. Well, they are, but, uh, you know, I'm not done. I got some more chapters here for you. <laughs> man, Really? All right, let's keep going here. So I'm just getting a couple of scriptures together here for you. Amen. All right, there you go. Uh, checking out the notes. Want to make sure I got them together here for you for the next broadcast. Amen. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. So I want to get into... Um, First Peter. Let's look at First Peter, friends. We'll make, move the other one over, uh, and I'll just go ahead and close out. So, let's see. Um, amen. All right. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, friends. We'll go ahead and go through First Peter 1 through 25. Um... And maybe Second Corinthians. I never know with that. So um, let's see. I'll move that one over here. 
Ba 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 da ba seven and eight there. All right, bear with me, my friends. I want to make sure I readjust this one. So I think we got to uh, be good here. Um, ba 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 ba. All right, so yeah, I'll close that out there. So yeah, let's go to First Peter. Uh, friends, let's go ahead and read First Peter here. Uh, I want to go to 1 through 25, and then we'll close out with 2 Corinthians chapter 14, right? Uh, amen. Let's make sure I don't lose that. Amen. All right. 1 Peter chapter 1, friends. Let's go ahead and dig into that book before I fix it again. Well, I do appreciate you guys being so patient. You know, a lot of interference, a lot of problems I have with these podcasts. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure what's, you know, sometimes I know, but sometimes I don't know what's going on. But, um, you know, I'm going to keep pressing in. I'm, I'm had worse problems and, itch, you know, situations and, and stuff hit me in life that, you uh, you know, I, I, I'm just going to keep pressing in, friends. Keep digging in, right? Amen. That's all we can do. All right. So let's continue. And then, like I said, I'm going to close out with, uh, I believe I'm going to close out with 2 Corinthians 14. So let's keep going here. First Peter, uh, friends, right now. First Peter, an apostle of, or Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ to the stranger scattered throughout Pontus. Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, uh, through sanctification of the Spirit, and to obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, friends. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled um, and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoiced, or rejoiced, uh, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, friends. We know this, right? That the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth that uh, through or though it be tried with fire might be found to the praise and honor of uh, and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. First Peter chapter one here, friends. Uh, now, uh, whom having not seen ye love in whom now or though now ye see him, not uh, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you. Searching what or what manner of time the Spirit of Christ, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand uh, the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. All right, and to whom it was revealed that not unto our, themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them and have preached the gospel unto you 
with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope not to end for the grace, or to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you. At the revelation of Jesus Christ, church, as obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lust and your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. All right, there it is. Be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. All right, got to fix that note. Man, oh man. Give me a moment here, my friends. Um, <laughs> I use this scripture quite a lot. Actually, in, in a lot of the broadcasts, um, I, I actually go to this uh, scripture and I uh, just haven't like, like haven't got a chance to really kind of readjust it here. Uh, and like I said, I'm just doing a couple of quick notes here, a couple of quick updates. Uh, not a whole lot. So I don't want to spend too much uh, time uh, fixing that. Be a whole nother project, friends. I'm telling you, whole nother, whole nother project there. So he, he says right here, friends, be ye holy. For I am holy, right? Amen. All right. And if ye call, as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations or conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but, friends, we were bought at a price, as he says, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and without spot, who verily were foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you. Uh, who... By him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and, and gave him to glory that your father and hope might be in God. Seeing you have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirits, uh, unfeigned love of the brethren. See that ye love one another uh, with a pure heart. Fear, or fervently, not fear, but fervently, right? Uh, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. For all flesh is, is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. There it is. The grass withereth, and the flower thereof fadeth away, or falleth away, right, falleth away there, but the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you, there you go, my friends, First Peter chapter 1, right, amen, all right, got a little bit of time, let's close out one more for you, um, friends, one more for you here. Um, all right, back a little bit here. Um, all right, three, four, three, four. All right. Fourteen. All right, I wrote the wrong, the wrong one again, which is not surprising, like I said. Uh... So we want we want to go to five, right? Uh, for or second, 
2 Corinthians. And that's going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Um, all right. Give me a minute here, my friends. Let me fix this. <sighs> Man, it's one of them days that I keep giving it over to the Lord because I'm like, I, I, what do I do? You know, I want to keep just fixing it up, right? All right. Thank you guys for bearing with me. I know just a little over two hours on this one, but that's uh, kind of be, like I said, it's kind of expected. I kind of run uh, just a little close to two hours here. Hey, man, good to see you guys. Uh, it's me and the flies today. I'm, I've been battling them all podcast here. Uh, amen. So good to see you guys. Closing out here, one more scripture for you, uh, church. One more uh, set of scriptures here. Um, <laughs> we're going to go 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 1 through 21. Uh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Like I said, pfft. I got a fly that won't leave me alone. He's just, he's been hanging out the whole time. Uh, went away for a little bit and came right back. Uh, so uh, he's just right up in my face, friends. Uh, again, had one caught up in my eye, uh, right up on my glasses. At, I mean, like that, literally. Uh, so let's see if we can't close out. One more for you on this fly Monday. <laughs> man, oh man, I'll have to post that up there. Uh, all right, Second Corinthians, as he gives us our commandment to, uh, as he says, be separate from the world or of the world, friends, in it but not of it. Uh, boy, I appreciate you guys hanging out Monday the 20th. Closing out, one more scripture for you, friends, and that's it. And then uh, I got to go swat me some flies or spray them down or both. I don't know, but uh, too much here. All right, so... Your Bibles, 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, again, chapter 5. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, brothers and sisters, and a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan, earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. All right, so if so... Uh, that we be naked or being clothed, we shall not be found naked. All right. For we that are in this tabernacle do groan being burdened, not for that we would be unclothed, but clothed upon. Man, that almost got right right in my mouth. Oh, gosh. All right. But clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life, that, uh, or now, he that hath wrought us for the self same thing is God, who also hath given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. And therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst, again, read this before, uh, shared this with you guys before here, um, amen. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst... We are at home in the body. We are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith and not by sight, friends. Right there. Walk by faith, not by sight. And we are confident, I say, and willing uh, to rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Amen. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, church. Um, Man, there it is, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, uh, whether it be good or bad. Uh, Forgive me, Lord, for I must swat the flies. (laughs) Right? Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, whether it be good or bad, like I say, is forgive me, Father, forgive me, God, for I must swat these pesty flies. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. For we commend not ourselves again unto you. Uh, pfft. 
but uh, give you occasion to glory on our behalf that you may have somewhat to answer them, which glory in appearance and not in heart. Uh, For whether we be beside ourselves, it is to God, or whether we be sober, it is for your cause. And there they are again. I'm telling you, friends, they are not making this easy. Uh, And I'm trying to ignore them. But uh, again, I need my water bottle. That's what I'm going to have next, my water bottle here. So let me close it out. I'm going to have to end here, friends. Um, So (laughs) whether we are sober... Uh, it is for your cause. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, and that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Oh, man. Uh, All right, so whether or wherefore, henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, ye know henceforth, know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things are become new, and all things are of God. He who hath reconciled us to him. uh, I'm going to have to end, friends. I can't even get through this. Um, They are just like right here. um, And they will not leave me alone. So I'm going to have to swap me some flies uh, for sure. Uh, Let's see if I can just get through the next few uh, verses here. Now, uh, who hath reconciled us to him by Jesus Christ and hath given us to the ministry of reconciliation, to wit, that God was in Christ in reconciling the word into himself, the world into himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you, By us, we pray you in Christ's steed, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And that's a wrap, my friends. I cannot stand these flies another minute here. Uh, It has been relentless. I have been trying to get through this podcast and I have been badgered by the flies constantly. They have not left me alone. Uh, friends, I can't edit that out. I'm going to leave that all, you know, I'm sorry about all that. Uh, this is not my, you know, I normally have a regular, somewhat regular podcast here. Um, but uh, the flies, the flies are, have been too much, a lot of interference, a lot of just, i swatting them left and right here. That's it. <laughs> I got to go swap me some flies, uh, my friends. See, I, I can't even finish it out. I'm going to go ahead and close out, uh, friends. That's it for for today's Monday podcast here. I got to get me some flies. I can't handle it anymore, uh, friends. That's it. Um, see you guys on the next one. Hopefully, no more flies, but uh, giving it to God. Anyway, thanks for bearing with me on this. Uh, friends, that's it, and I'll uh, see you soon. Block Talk Radio, out of here. And uh, what do we got uh, on our chat line? There we go. All right, so Restream Ministry Podcast Network. See you soon. That's it, you guys. I got to get out of here. Got to get me some flies. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna get me some water and and some fly strips or something, and and see if I can't get rid of them. Ah, my friends, I tried. I was trying the whole two hours here. Got bombarded. So thanks a lot. That's it. I'll see you on the next one. And um, take care. Thanks again for subscribing here. Thanks for um, putting up with all this. (coughs) Amen. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick here, Studio A. Got to deal with me or deal with some flies, friends. Take care. See you on the next one. Hopefully not this bad next time, but we'll see, friends. Thanks a lot. See you soon, friends. Spreaker, hold that thought. All right. (coughs) All 
All right. Uh, <laughs> they're winding down um, here. Oops, let's see. <coughs> All right. Sorry about that. Uh, I am getting bombarded again. Can't uh, get rid of them. All right, friends. That's it. Spreaker. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. I'll see you soon. Amen.